Okay. <coughs> it's 12 14 p.m. 28 November 2020. It is so hot in here. My temperature thing says 31.3 degrees centigrade, which is 88.3 degrees Fahrenheit. But it is uh, expected to go to 40 degrees today and tomorrow. So the it's actually 39 outside, but it's expected to go to you that. How do I focus this thing? 41 degrees. Tomorrow is the same. We're gonna lock that it calms down a bit. It is gonna be so hot. <sighs> so uh, yeah, I had a, uh, an appointment with my psych prospective psychosocial recovery coach, and we talked about uh, what supports the NDIS can give me. The reason I say prospective is because the NDIA has not yet changed my plan to plan manage. They said the request has been approved, but someone has to call me to do it, and it's, they've been very late about it. So until they change the plan to plan managed, I cannot formally hire my psychosocial recovery coach, but I intend to pay her for the services she's rendered on the past two occasions. We had a discussion about that, uh, which I think is fair and, and, and right uh, and good. <laughs> it's good that I pay. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've also been like looking at buying. I've been like, I'm getting into cars, I'm getting into cars. I've never been into cars, but I'm getting into cars. Uh, because I want to do the mechanic thing, um, so I, 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 I mean, uh, so like I, I, I have, I want to buy this car. It's like a Toyota Corolla. It's a '95 model. It's a hatchback. The owner is like um, not that far from me, and uh, it's it's at a price of eighteen hundred dollars, which is cheap. I mean, you know, it's a. a the, the the ad said the car works it's just got some cosmetic issues and I saw the picture and I love that color it's that uh, bluish color which is not dark blue but like sky blue I just, I just love the color Ugh. Uh, anyway so I mean if I purchase the car because um, I need to um, well I need it off Secure, secure, secure the funds, and I found this uh, bank which uh, I can loan two thousand uh, dollars, and I, you know, I think the interest is like, according to the website, the interest over two years is like hundred and seventy six dollars, which I think is reasonable. I th if that is the interest, I think that's reasonable. You know, if I borrow two thousand. I think that's the actual interest. Um, then I can use that to pay for the car, and you know, I, I make uh, repayments of ninety dollars a month. If I can make repayments of ninety dollars a month, I think I can afford that. Even you know, with the moving and all that. Uh, the reason, like, I mean, I don't want to spend the money because I have to borrow. I mean, I've never borrowed money, <laughs> so this is like, uh, I don't know if I want to borrow money. But the, it's just so weird because um, the, it's like I want to go to, well, I'm thinking of going to Al Albury, right? Albury. And uh, the bank I want to borrow the money is actually located in Albury. And it's, it's sort of like a coincidence or something. Or And I just really love the car. And it's got the number 95. And 95 was the year we came to Australia. And I just and it's a Toyota Corolla, and apparently the Corolla is like the most widely uh, bought car in the world. And um, you know, I can use it as an opportunity to practice some car work, basic car work. Uh, I really like the way way it looks. So, 
I mean, I was telling to myself, maybe I shouldn't buy the car now. I should focus on, uh, you know, moving out and, and doing that first. And then I can think about getting a car. Because if I, if I move to Albury, then how am I going to take the car? Do I have to drive the car <laughs> 500 kilometers? That's another thing we talked about in my psychosocial recovery coach. Is like, you know, if I want to go to some place like Albury, I can hire someone to like accompany me, like a support person, and they can drive me there and drive me back. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I could do that, you know, if I want to like go and inspect houses or something, maybe we can have a day trip, I don't know, maybe, yeah, we'll see, see where to discuss that, I guess. Uh, but, you know, I pay them by the hour uh, for the day, and maybe I have to pay for the petrol or something. Um, I mean, I don't pay it, but I use the funds to, from the NDIS, my plan to pay for it. Um, and I was also t I was also thinking about like how you know what if like if I'm going to start a cave course like a mechanic course and I have to go in person uh, to the class and I could also hire a support person <laughs> to come with me so I don't have to be by myself or something. It should be good. Uh, you know, because when I go to classes, I'm just always by myself. <laughs> it's very anxiety and you think. Um, why don't we do that? Uh, so Albury seems like the place I'm probably going to go to. Uh, another, yeah, Albury. I've also been looking at uh, South Australia, like this place called Why, Why All, Why All. Uh, which is near Port Lincoln and also like another one called uh, Mount something uh, Mount Gambian I think that's the one uh, let me see Mount Gambier Mount oh yeah Mount Gambier the prices are relatively, uh, you know, cheap. Like, oh my goodness, I can get like a hundred dollar per week unit. Or I can get a hundred twenty-five dollar per week unit two bedroom. Yeah, I mean it's actually quite cheaper there. Yeah, but I'd probably end up paying two hundred. I want to pay at least. I want to reduce the rent down to like, I don't, before I was thinking I'll pay 250 but now I'm thinking, no, I think I'll just pay 200 or less per week. I think that'll be better. Like, you know, I don't have to like, I mean, there are some, it's just like it's where you go, you know, the location, right? Like if, if I go to some places in South Australia, I can get for cheaper prices. Uh, even Albury, you know, it's, uh, it's cheaper, but you know, maybe South Australia is more cheaper. <laughs> Oh, it's so hot. Oh, man. So, oh yeah, no, I can also use the NDIS like to for linen, linen services. Like once a week, maybe someone can do the laundry. Uh, I mean, I take my clothes and you know do the laundry and bring it back. And uh, you know, the hiring person to do the gardening and. The, cleaning and uh, you know maybe going out like oh the, what she, what she uh, what was that um there's a thing called a companion card so I could apply for this thing called a companion card <laughs> so it's like uh, you know you have to fill a form and maybe get your GP to sign it and it's like if you have that card you can actually like when you go on the train you can bring someone with you and they don't have to pay the ticket for fare for the train uh, and also like when you go to, let's say you go to a movie and this, you can show this companion card and the person coming with you does not have to pay the ticket. Which I think is what she said and um, yeah, so um, that is, uh, yes, yeah, so that if that, you know, that would be a, a good thing, you know, that would, uh, yeah, so I might apply for the companion card. <sighs> so. It is hot in here. 
this is hot in here. I'm recording this at uh, 30 frames per second. Hopefully, uh, it it won't be as the, the last time I recorded and I, and I chose a very huge setting. The file was like 8 gigabytes, 8.18 gigabytes. I had to shrink that. That was only 9 minutes 42 seconds, and I had to shrink that down to. 1.36 by re-encoding it into Vegas. Hopefully this won't be that bad. Yeah, I don't know. If, you know if the, I don't know how the car thing is gonna go, but I did contact the person. I said, "Hi, I'm one interested in buying your car. And the, is it still, you know, the, the price yeah, and the condition? It, it, is it still available for sale?" So. We'll see what happens. Um.